say he's a great prime minister with a lot of power. <coughs> 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 That's the last time I'm ever going to try Barney voice. <laughs> Welcome to the final wager. I'm Keith Williams, and I think I'm going to have to keep it short tonight because I think I just blew out my voice. Uh, I was referring to the uh, excellent <clears throat> Simpsons bit where Barney and Wade Boggs are going back and forth about the greatest English Prime Minister and Boggs gets punched out for saying uh, Lord Pitt the Elder. <clears throat> yeah, Pitt the Elder. Oof, I regret that. Philip, tough luck. He did what he had to do, but as Alex said, he's going home with 96,000, and uh, we'll probably see him in the next Tournament of Champions. I can't imagine they'd leave him out. Uh, this one's easy here. I think what I'm going to miss most about, uh, well, a lot of things I'm going to miss about Philip, but the Mr. Coco stories. I could listen to uh, those for days. All right, let's play Final Jeopardy. Britons, that's the category. Here comes the clue. A pair of shoes that he wore when making history in 1954 sold at auction in 2015 for more than $400,000. Shoes. Very good Churchill? Prince Albert? What are these shoes? Church Bass. Mm. Wow. That was a close one. We come to you first, Chris. You had 4,400, and you wrote down who is Roger Bannister, who broke the four minute mile, and you are correct, and that means you will add. I would have been you killed if I hadn't gotten that one. Scored at 80, 800. However, when could not be caught. It was a runaway game for her. What was her response? Oh, good guess. You <laughs> like a lawyer? Yep, yeah, you were thinking legal instead of sports. So it lost something for you. It lost you a thousand dollars on it. You're the new Jeopardy champ with 14. All right. Tough luck, but she gets another game and. Uh, I get to go back to watching basketball, which I will do now, and uh, got to wait at least four more games for a five-timer. We might be stretching into 100 territory soon. I think we're almost sure to break the previous post Jennings record, which Ken Jennings record, which would have been 96, so now I think tonight we're at 91, and so if we don't have one by next Thursday, we'll tie it. We'll see. All right. Have a nice evening. We'll see you tomorrow right here on the final wager.